before I get into showing you the actual drawings that I did, I wanted to show you guys real quickly some pages from my sketchbook. I dedicated this small sketchbook for only drawing my cat in it. And um, I'm only in the very beginning of the sketchbook, I haven't done a lot of pages yet. But this is kind of where I started out by doing uh, just some pen sketches. You can see how sketchy they are, just very loose. And I have a whole bunch of them here. Um, these are from like last year of her just sleeping, laying down, all this kind of stuff. And eventually I moved to, uh, as you guys will see here, I eventually moved to doing, using a brush pen rather than an ink pen like this. I think my pen ended up dying or something. So I would just draw her all the time when I had free time. As you guys can see, you know, she slept a lot, so I got a lot of different sleeping positions. Some of these are pretty good, and then some of them are not so good. So it just depends, uh, it just takes practice. You know, this is a lot of practice that I did. So just her sleeping again, and sometimes she would move and I wouldn't be able to finish. So I would just start over. Or if I felt like I didn't get it right, because I was just drawing with a pen and not a pencil, I would just start over. So I was getting a lot better over time, as we can see here. They're just a little more solid looking. I was able to get the proportions down a lot quicker and easier. And then I started moving to a brush pen. And that's when everything kind of changed. And I really liked the look of the brush pen. Uh, it's a lot stronger. You know, you see here, it's just a big difference. So this is last May, May 2019, June 2019. And yeah, these were a lot of fun. I didn't I didn't start out with pencil on any of these. I just went straight to the brush pen. A lot of these are pretty good. I like these. Or when she was sleeping, etc. She's either sleeping or just sitting there. So That's probably one of my favorite ones that I've done. You know, just having the marks there like it just boom, that's that's exactly what I want to show. That one's probably really good too. But you can see some of these are just missing a head because sometimes she would completely move her move around and I wouldn't have time to finish. And here's one where she's sleeping, she just kind of face planted into the couch. <laughs> uh, so just more sketches. And then here's what I did today, what we're gonna see me draw these three here. But yeah, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to hopefully trying to fill up this whole sketchbook with just my cat. So let's get into the drawings now. I'll show you how I, how I do these kind of things. So it's been a while, so these, I stopped in about June, and then I did one in October, and then now it's uh, February. So I'm a little rusty, but I want to get back into, into really filling up this sketchbook. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So this kind of drawing is, is quite difficult for me to do because I'm starting out with just the brush pen, as I said earlier. There's no preparatory pencil sketches, and... I'm going straight for the final product. There's no building blocks. I'm not, I'm not starting out with any spheres or cylinders or any kind of uh, preparatory shapes. So I'm basically just drawing exactly what I'm seeing. And uh, as you can imagine, super challenging, super difficult. And sometimes I have to move lines or just readjust lines. And I just try to draw it as, as best I can. There's really, there's no other way to really go about it. It's kind of just sometimes they're going to be really good and sometimes they're going to be awful. They're going to be horrible. As we'll see here at the end, I think my final sketch was quite bad. And my cat moves around a lot. So what, what I've kind of realized from doing these a lot is that I usually start off Obviously I have to wait till the right time if she's like sitting around like this because sometimes she tends to move around a lot uh, if she's sitting up and walking around. And at this particular time she was on the windowsill like you guys saw at the beginning of the video. So she's looking out the window, uh, moving her head around a lot. What I realized to do is to start off with her body first because most of the time her body is the thing that stays the same the longest. So what I end up doing is I, I try to get the gist of her body down, kind of all the major lines of her body, as quickly as I can. As you can see, these sketches take only about a minute to do one. Uh, I have to be very quick because she moves, she moves quick. If you have a pet, like an animal, a dog or a cat, you realize like how they don't sit around still very often. At least my cat doesn't. <laughs> you know, when she's sleeping or something, she'll sit there. But even then, sometimes when she's sleeping, every few minutes she'll wake up and 
roll over or move a different way. So it's it's pretty tricky. But I, what I was saying is I drew her head last. So I get the body in because her body doesn't move around as much. What she ends up moving around is her head, her neck, and maybe a little bit of her shoulders. So sometimes the head doesn't fit the body sometimes because her head's in a different position than what, you know, her head's facing a different way than it was from when I started the, the sketch of the body. So sometimes it looks a little off or disconnected or weird. But I kind of just roll with it. See, look, she already jumped down. And I'm still trying to finish. <laughs> so you guys just saw her go by there at the top corner. So it's it's really challenging. It's, it's really challenging. It, it definitely helps helps my memory. So I'm drawing from memory part of the time, uh, especially when she moves around or if she turns away or something. Sometimes I, I can't finish the sketch. I have to just stop and start a new one or something. But it's definitely a lot of fun to do these. I want to try to start doing a few of these every day. And this last one, we'll see what ends up happening with this one. This was the most challenging one. So yeah, these are, this is definitely a lot of fun. And hopefully I'll be able to fill up this sketchbook. Uh, my cat is turning 15 years old very soon in April, at the end of April. So I'm not sure how much longer she's going to be around. I mean, she's doing fine. Her health is fine. Uh, everything's good. But you never know, man. You never know with cats and stuff like that, animals, especially when they get this to this age. Uh, it's just very difficult. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is where I really struggled. She was moving around a lot. Her head was moving around a lot. I ended up making some weird lines there, like going through the middle of her head almost. And one thing I noticed, realized to get down quickly as well is the ears. The ears determine, so usually when I'm first drawing her head, I'll do the ears first because that determines which way the head is facing. And look, she's already there. Now she wants to come up on my lap. So, yeah, it's, I mean, that's, that's the reality of, of drawing your pet, drawing a cat, or drawing anything from life. You know, if you're at the zoo or something, stuff's going to move around. And you have to just do your best. Hope you enjoyed this video. So... How am I supposed to draw you if you come on my lap, jump, if you come jump on my lap while I'm trying to draw you? Uh, didn't really get that one, that last one very well because she moved a lot and then she came and now she's sitting on my lap. Great. <laughs> uh, and that's why it's difficult drawing animals from life or drawing your cat from life. But it is a lot of fun when you get it right.